welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a PCOS update. I get this question a lot in my Instagram DMs. And sometimes on my old videos, you guys will comment and just want an update on how, where I'm at, what I'm doing, how am I doing. So I figured I would film something for you guys and just update you on my life and what's going on um, with my PCOS, PCOS struggles. So a lot has happened. We're in 2021. And I think the last time I did a video on PCOS was probably in 2019 or 2018. So I have not talked about it in a long time. I have been uh, chatting with people through DMs on Instagram and just kind of updating them and talking to them about their PCOS issues. A lot of you guys DM me and want to know like where I'm at because you see my old videos. So I figured I would do a quick video on what's been working for me, what's helping, and my weight and all that stuff. So. Let's get into it. Let's okay. start with the things I've been taking. Okay, so I recently discovered Ray Wellness. Um, I really like them. I've only been taking them for like two months. They're balanced, um, they're rebalanced, excuse me. They're rebalanced, uh, I guess these are vitamins. These are for balancing your hormones. And I discovered these just online one night and I was like, hmm, this seems interesting, let's try it. So it's literally been two months. This is my second bottle. so. I can't give you guys a full update yet on how I feel about this because it's kind of hard when you just start it. You know, I feel like it's working, but at the same time, I'm not 100% sure yet. I want to try it just for the rest of the time. Um, this is since this is my second bottle, we're about a week and a half into May, I mean April. So I will let you guys know at the end of April on Instagram how I feel about this. But so far, so good. I haven't really had any complaints, no reactions. Um, it's all good. So Ray Wellness is a vegan brand, I believe. All of their products are um, vegan, cruelty-free, stuff like that. So I love that. So I, I have their Rebalance, I have their pre-probiotic. I take their daily cleanse. I also take their vegan collagen, and then they vegan vegan collagen. What am I saying? <laughs> and they also sent me a sample of their multivitamin. So this I have not taken yet. I just kind of wanted to show it to you guys. I actually, for a multivitamin, I take the Vitafusion Women's. This is basically empty almost. Um, but yeah, I take this for my multivitamin. I make sure that I get a multivitamin in. I also make sure that I take these rebalanced ones because for helping with my hormones. Um, it is important when you have PCOS to take a probiotic. You definitely want to keep yourself regular and make sure you have um, a healthy gut. So that's super important. And also the daily cleanse has been helping as well. So I have noticed like a two pound weight loss since I've been taking this stuff. I've also incorporated black seed oil into my daily regimen. I mix this with a jar of honey. Um, I just take a spoonful of honey and I put this on the spoon and just eat it all at once because black seed oil has a very, very strong taste. This is just good for a healthy immune system. It's a um, an inflammatory response. I have um, a fatty liver now from the PCOS. I learned this without, when I was in the hospital, which we'll get into later. I heard so many great things about black seed oil, so I decided to incorporate it into my daily regimen. It's definitely something you want to get um, if you have any sort of immune if you have any like inflammatory issues, I, listen, consult with your doctor first on all of this stuff. For me, I'm more of a natural person. I have gone to the doctor. I've seen the endocrinologist, all these, the gynecologist. I've seen everybody about my PCOS and I'm really finding that the natural route and what you put in your body, the food you eat is what matters. So these are the, the supplements that I consume. I also, for the fatty liver disease that I have now, I drink milk thistle tea and dandelion tea. The dandelion root and the milk thistle together help with healing a fatty liver. They will help you if you have liver disease. I highly recommend these. If you Google it, it will literally tell you like these are good. I've even actually heard this from a doctor. I've actually even heard it at the natural health store that I go to. I'm like, what do you take for liver? disease and this is what everybody has recommended so dandelion root tea and milk thistle tea are great for people who have a fatty liver and um and I really like the way that they taste I mix them with a little lemon and ginger and a little turmeric in there and you're good to go so that's what I put in my tea when I drink this I drink this twice a day once in the morning and once at night um not every day 
but I try to. <laughs> um, most of the time though I do. So this is something that I, these are something that I highly wanted to recommend. I also have the Milk Thistle pills here. I take these four times a day. This I actually do remember to take. So it says on here, take one capsule, wait, serving size is one capsule. It said you get 60 capsules, one capsule three to six times a day. I don't take it six times a day just because I do the tea. So I find that, you know, just these pills help along with the tea and um, I have less liver pain. I was getting a lot of pain in my side and I didn't know that it was my liver and I'm finding out that that's what that was. So this has been helping me a lot. So the milk thistle and dandelion root, if you have any sort of liver disease, is, is very, very helpful. Um, it's important with PCOS for your hormones as well to get a good night's sleep. If you have an issue with that, I have some melatonin here. CVS actually sent this to me in their PR package. I try not to take this a lot because I wake up with a headache if I do it too often. This is 12 milligrams and I believe 12 milligrams is like the highest that you can go. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that, but um, most people take like what, five to 10? I just cut this in half, I don't take the full 12. I took the full 12 one night and I had a serious headache when I woke up. So I've learned that just like half of it works for me. Um, also, I have this Friska brand nightly boost. This helps as well. It's a, it's also, it's an enzyme probiotic support blend and it has, um, it says botanicals to aid digestion and calm and mo calm the mind and to awake refreshed. So this is something that works as well. I take this to go to sleep. I believe this has melatonin in it. It does, chamomile flower melatonin. So if you're looking for something to just calm you at night, this might work as well. I've only taken this like twice and it did give me a good night's sleep. But again, I think melatonin is just something that sort of gives me a headache. So I am in the market for something that doesn't give me a headache. I heard magnesium may be better. So we'll see, I haven't explored that yet. Um, I'm also taking these immune booster gummies. I bought these because the brand says Wetter Spoon, and if you know me, my last name is Witherspoon, not Chanel. Chanel's my middle name. So I just thought that was cool, but I actually did read about the brand too. I actually bought these today because I ran out of immunity gummies and I thought these looked cool. They taste pretty good. I ate one when I got home from the store. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, these are free of corn syrup, cane sugars, sucrose, glucose syrup, and artificial sweeteners. So you may wanna look into some sort of immunity booster too, you know, just in general. So I always incorporate honey into my diet. Um, I love unfiltered, pure, raw, locally sourced honey. It's important to get locally sourced. Get honey that is from your area. Um, I use this in my dandelion and milk thistle tea. Um, yeah, so that those are the supplements. I think that's, oh no, that's not everything. Um, I'm also doing chlorophyll, guys. I used to take the pills years ago and I feel like they did me no justice, but since I have been taking the, since I've been taking the liquid chlorophyll, game changer. Now here's why. This is a great internal deodorant. It's also an energy booster and detoxifier. I love it for the whole internal deodorant idea only because when you have PCOS, I don't know if anyone else is going through this, but I'm going through this right now. My hormones have been out of pocket this past six months. I don't know what's going on, but uh, body odor, even with deodorant on, I have noticed like, goodness, like what is happening after a few hours? I'm like smelling crazy. Sorry for the TMI, but that's pretty much been the case. So I was looking for something like a, a really strong deodorant and then I tried natural deodorants because they say if you have hormone issues, you should use natural deodorants. None of the natural deodorants for, deodorants for me really worked and helped me with body odor. So I was like, what in the world can I do? And so I was on TikTok and this girl popped up, I don't remember her name, but she recommended um, some chlorophyll if you want sort of an internal deodorant, a energy booster detoxifier situation. And I was just like, does this really work? I've taken chlorophyll pills, but years ago, I'm talking like 10 years ago, I don't remember if they did anything for me in terms of internally, but the liquid chlorophyll works, okay? I do. I have no body odor. I've been taking this since December. I got COVID back in December, so I started taking this after I kind of recovered from having COVID, and 
honestly, you guys, I, it's been a game changer, life changing. I literally, t I drink it twice a week, Monday and Friday, and I drink it in water. Like I literally just take one squeezy of it and drink it in water. It says on here to, uh, I want to say servings per servings per container, 120 serving size, 15 drops. So it says to do 15 drops um several i think twice a day or something like that on here i don't know you guys gotta read the bottle but i don't do that i just take one squeezy squeeze it into my water mix it up and drink it and i'm good to go and honestly i'm good for the week like i i wear deodorant but um there's no smell like i literally have no smell i can go hours without it and i literally don't smell like anything i just recommend with all these to please 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 do your research before taking any of this and also consult with your doctor to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing i don't want to be held responsible for anybody <laughs> getting sick off something i recommended so yeah that is that these are all of the supplements that i'm taking right now for my pcos um i just wanted to get into some books they may help you guys. I got a lot of books here. So we're, what are we in? We're, we're on 14 minutes, y'all. We're going to try and slim this down for y'all. Okay, so it's important when you have PCOS to cut out gluten, dairy, and sugar. Those are the three things that are really going to work against you with PCOS. Of course, everybody's body is different. So your body may not react the way mine does. But for me, gluten is not my friend. It's, it's terrible for me. Um, dairy is not my friend. I can get by with dairy, but it's just... I know I notice a difference when I don't have it um, and then also uh, what I say dairy gluten and sugar sugar is a no-no I do actually have some stevia but I forgot to bring that out but again stevia is something that I'll take um, in my tea or honey something natural instead of pure cane sugar it's a no-no stay away from it those are things that you do not want you don't want things that are going to spike your hormones one of the things before we get into these books that I want to bring to people's attention because I, I think this is something that people don't understand. When you have PCOS and you work out, you raise the cortisol, um, which is a hormone, I believe. Cortisol is a stress hormone. So when you work out, it's best to do low impact workouts for most people with PCOS. Some people actually are fine. Um, for me, I've noticed when I do low impact workouts, instead of hardcore working out, I lose weight. You may find that you work, if you're working out really, really hard, um, that you're not losing weight. It's because our bodies have a hormone imbalance. So adding the stress hormone cortisol when doing cardio and hardcore workouts does not help us at all. It is best for us to do light weight lifting, um, walking. You can run, but I mean, I personally, for me, walking and doing light weight lifting 30 minutes a day, working out like that has helped me lose more weight than it would have when I was doing CrossFit. I used to do CrossFit. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's Oh, I just love CrossFit. Like, it's one of my favorite workouts to do. I used to go to those little CrossFit gyms and, and go hard because I'm naturally a muscular person and I'm naturally like an athletic person in a sense. I have more of an athletic body. Um, not now that I've gained weight, obviously, but growing up, I did. So I'm kind of prone to working out. It doesn't affect me as much as I you think it would I love hardcore workouts but they don't help me and I've, I've learned that over the years I actually don't gain weight I kind of plateau or stay at the same weight but when I do low impact workouts and sort of stress less relax my hormones and do it maybe 30 minutes a day to an hour a day I tend to have better results with that now I know this works because I've literally told so many women who with PCOS to do this and it's worked for them. I have testimonials to prove it. The people will have contacted me and said, girl, thank you, this worked for me, I lost weight. So I highly recommend that. Try that out if you have PCOS, if you're working out hard and it just isn't working for you, try out low impact workouts. There's workouts all over the internet that kind of pertain to PCOS workouts. I've seen them. So if you need some ideas, I'll put some great people to follow under here. Unfortunately, guys, I don't have stuff like that on my channel. I'm not really covering that. Um, but I know a lot of girls that do. So I'll try and find them and link their programs and workout programs and stuff below. All right, now let's get into books. Um, <clears throat> gluten-free so i have this book called gluten-free for good 
this book is so helpful it has so many gluten-free recipes in here if you're looking for gluten-free recipes this is something that you want to pick up I will link it down below if I can find it um, eating gluten-free is really really helpful I have switched out all of my flour to gluten-free flour I've switched out my pancake makes it gluten-free my breads are all gluten-free my pizza dough is gluten-free listen I'm a pasta girl I'm a pizza girl I'm a Jersey girl so these things I need them so I decided to go gluten-free and that has actually helped me versus just eating regular pasta regular pizza regular bread um, I've switched over to bonza pasta which is a chickpea pasta it's a little complicated to cook in my opinion because if you don't cook it right it's going to taste gummy and weird so you have to make sure that when you cook it you follow the box to the tea and rinse it off I know they say don't rinse pasta but that pasta you need to rinse because it gets gooky so that is one of the tips if you don't like chickpea pasta try that um, another book I have right now is the liver cleansing diet I have not read this one yet but it has recipes in here for like if you have a fatty liver or an unhealthy liver um, this right here it, it seems like a decent book the one that I have kind of hopped into is skinny liver this right here Oh, this helped me so much. It gave me so much information. It actually teaches you about how PCOS contributes to having a fatty liver. Yeah, so this book right here, I highly recommend. It's called Skinny Liver. It is amazing. It has so much information. I have read a lot of it. I haven't read the whole book, but I have read in here what to do, how to eat, what things are good for your liver, what things are bad. It literally tells you in here, PCOS can cause fatty liver disease. Once your liver starts going bad or getting fatty, you're definitely gonna wanna jump on that ASAP and take care of yourself. That was my wake up call, y'all. The, the fatty liver thing, the pain on my side, mm -mm, we were like, okay, time to change our life. We're not doing this anymore. Um, the next one is the fatty liver diet. I have not read this one yet at all. Um, just skinny liver so far. The other two I plan to read. I will keep you updated on um, what I feel, but these are, I believe this one is just recipes. So really, I mean, there's some stuff. Yeah, there's some stuff in here, like information, but it's mainly just recipes. It's something that um, you definitely want to check out. It has a lot of good information here as well. Um, the next one is juicing for beginners. I love this. If you follow me, you know that I'm an avid juicer. I love to juice. I juice all the time. Um, I, I've recently really got back into juicing and I'm so happy that I did. It's literally life changing. It's not something I would say rely on completely. Of course not. Juice can have a lot of natural sugar if you use a lot of fruits. So I would say keep a lot of your um, juices more vegetable based and add fruits for sweetness or however you want to adjust it. Um, but certain things help this is the best book i've come across in terms of juicing because it has a juice for every ailment so you these little uh how can i point this out to you guys so it tells you on in this book it has sort of like you know how a map would have symbols there are symbols for every kind of sickness and it tells you if this specific juice recipe is for that sickness this is a great book. If you want to find good recipes for juicing, I highly recommend this book. I believe all of those books are available on Amazon. The next one is the PCOS Diet. I, I think I've talked about this in other videos, but this book is just amazing. It's so helpful. There's literally dot like there's literally recipes in here for people with PCOS. I highly recommend this book. I think it is one of the best books on the market in terms of PCOS. It teaches you so much. It tells you about PCOS. Um, it's literally just a life changing book if you have this disorder. And then the very last book I want to recommend is a book that my mother gave me. She uh, actually went to culinary school and um, she had this book in culinary school. It is one of the best books out here. It is called The Encyclopedia of Herbs, um, Spices and Flavorings. This is great for anybody who wants to learn about herbs and what they do for your body, the different plants. So this book has so much information on just taking care of yourself, what works, what different different um, spices and things do for your body I it's really it's a big book so it's hard for me to hold it up but I can try and find it it's very hard to find for some reason I looked it up on Amazon and it's not available 
she got it in college at her local I think college bookstore so you may be able to find it at a bookstore or at your college bookstore I'll list the, the name of it down below this will change your life this urban encyclopedia um, one of my girlfriends has a few issues and she actually recently got this book and she's obsessed she's like girl yes all of the research that i've done on my own has brought me to to the conclusion that all of that is stemming from my fatty liver which stems from me having pcos and all of this stems from what i'm putting in my body so it is so important to eat better to do what you're supposed to do i mean pcos is so temperamental so it's one of those things like if you fall off the wagon yeah you can get back on and start eating better again but you know eating the right foods doing the right research and just getting enough sleep and taking care of yourself is what's really gonna help. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I just wanted to share what I've been doing and how I'm doing. So love you guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video, bye.